the row prompted a 4% fall in Turkey's main share index, while the Turkish lira tumbled more than 2.5% against the dollar. In its on Sunday, the U.S. Embassy in Ankara said, Recent events have forced the United States government to reassess the commitment of government of Turkey to the security of U.S. mission and personnel. In order to minimize the number of visitors to our embassy and consulates while this assessment proceeds, effective immediately we have suspended all non-immigrant visa services at all U.S. diplomatic facilities in Turkey. Only people permanently moving to the U.S. will now be able to apply for visas. Turkey stands accused of holding detainees as hostages in its bilateral disputes with countries. Turkey and the U.S. have become embroiled in a consular row, mutually scaling back visa services. The American mission in Ankara said it had suspended all non immigrant visa services in order to reassess Turkey's commitment to staff security. Turkey's embassy in Washington replied by suspending all visa services. The latest spat began when the U.S. consulate worker in Istanbul was held over suspected links to a cleric blamed for last year's failed coup in Turkey. Washington condemned the move as baseless and damaging to bilateral relations. The arrested consulate employee was a male Turkish citizen, Turkey's state run on a Dolu news agency reported. Several German nationals are also in custody as Ankara presses the U.S. to extradite the cleric it accuses of masterminding the coup, and urges Berlin to deport Turkish citizens who have claimed asylum there. As well as the consular employee, an American pastor was arrested here a year ago.